Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at arithmetic progressions, which are really easy. All it is is just a type of linear sequence. So by linear sequence we mean a sequence that's going to increase or decrease by the same amount every time. And so we could say that as it's got the same common difference. Okay, so as an example, a linear sequence could be 5, 7, 9 and 11. And that's linear because each time between the terms we are increasing by plus 2, so they have the same common difference therefore it's a linear sequence or an arithmetic progression so the first thing we're going to do is look at a generic arithmetic progression okay and find a way of finding the nth term of it okay by a formula so say we have a first term of our uh, arithmetic progression being a okay so that's our first term so it's going to start at a and it has a common difference of d okay so all that means is we're going to start at a our second term is then going to be a plus d and so on okay and i'm going to write this down so the first term let's write it here that's when our n is equal to one isn't it so when n is one well we're given the first term it's a how about the second term well that's going to be when our n is equal to two in our nth term so i can write two here and because the common difference is d like i just said the second term is going to be a plus d for the third term, so that's when n is equal to 3, well, it's going to be a plus d plus another d. So we've got a plus d plus d, which is the same as writing a plus 2d. For the fourth uh, term, that's going to be when n is 4, and that's going to be a plus 2d plus another d. So that's going to be a plus 3d. Okay, and let's now extend this because we could do this for ages. So let's see how we could find the nth term. Okay, so that's what we want to find. We want to find a rule for the nth term. Well, let's look at what we have before. So let's start off with the second term. So when n is two, okay, the coefficient of d, okay, so how many d's do we have? It's one less, it's one, isn't it? When n is equal to three, we have two d's, which is one less than our value of n. When n is four, we've got three d's, which is one less than our value of n. And so what we can say is, well, for the nth term, it's gonna be a, which is the first term in the sequence, plus, n minus 1 multiplied by d, which is our common difference. So this formula is something that you will need to know, okay? And this is the formula for the nth term of a uh, arithmetic progression. And so what I will do is bring this down and we can have a look at a question. So the, we're given an arithmetic progression, okay? 4, 10, 16, and 22. And it says find the 60th term in this arithmetic progression. So the nth term is going to be given by what is in that red box there. Okay, so we know the first term of the sequence, a, is going to be equal to 4. And the common difference, d, well, how much is this sequence increasing by each time? Well, 4 to 10, that's going to be, let's write it up here, plus 6. 10 to 16, plus 6. And 16 to 22, plus 6. So our common difference is 6, okay? And because we were told this was an arithmetic progression, we only really needed to check once. So from here, we want to know the 60th term. So that's when n is going to be equal to 60. So now all I have to do is substitute all of that into what's in the red box there for my nth term, and I'll be given the 60th term in the sequence. So we've got 4 plus or n minus 1, so that's just going to be 60 minus 1 multiplied by d, which is 6. And I'm just going to do it on a calculator because it's going to be a lot easier. So 4 plus 59 times 6, and we get an answer of, let's write the 60th term, and that's going to be equal to 358. That's really neat, 358, nice and easy. The second part says find a formula for the nth term, okay, and this is also pretty easy to do. So let's write it like this. So the nth term is given by what's in that red box, and we know what a is and we know what d is, so let's substitute that in. So it's four plus n minus one multiplied by d, which is six. And if we then expand that bracket, we would get four plus 6n minus 6 and simplifying we get an nth term of 6n minus 2. So that's pretty much it for this video hopefully it was useful if it was like subscribe and share and go over to my channel for tons more A-level maths or all maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.